Colonial Williamsburg's junior interpreters know all about growing up in the past. After completing their training, these special volunteers between the ages of 10 and 18 work in costume at sites throughout the historic area, teaching young visitors what it's like to be a kid in the 18th century. Well, they were all homeschooled because they didn't have public schools for children um, from little to what would now be 12th grade. So if your parents were uneducated, you were likely to become un uneducated too. Well, here at the Duntry Cross, we usually learn um, by maybe a private school teacher or maybe by their mother or father. Um, then the poorer kids, the lower class, would usually not learn. Or if they had time, then they would learn by the mother and father. For a slave, uh, learning was kind of an on-job learning. You were taught to do a specific job when you were old enough to do the job. Some chores were similar to ones the kids do today. Uh, like they would make their beds and uh, some would scrub the floor and help with food and stuff. But some were very different, like getting water from the well. And you know, now we just turn on a faucet and we get water, but they would have to open up the well and pull the water and transfer it to other buckets, and there's a lot more work. So at the James Getty house, he was a silversmith, so his sons and daughters would probably be polishing silver, sweeping, keeping the shop tidy. Well, if they were lucky, they'd be doing so. If they weren't, they'd be out in the fields. They might also be helping with their mother in the kitchen, or the slave that they had in the kitchen. And helping their mother and cooking, if they were a woman, and helping their father and learning an apprenticeship if they were a male. That's kind of a hard question to answer, especially from a slave's point of view. The only day they would ever get any time to themselves would be on Sundays, and the time that they would mostly spend for Sundays would be, they would out, be out in their gardens, uh, if they had a garden, they would also tend to their chickens if they had those. Slaves would usually play Mancala, but then it wasn't really one for laughs and fun. It was used for slaves and children to learn how to count, because what if your master told you to put up? Then they you know what sixteen is. When their chores were done, they had tons of fun, like coop and stick. They played with me like on my thing. Oh, I still they played trap ball. They just played like jack. And they drew on plates and they danced. Dancing was a lot of fun for all ages. Um, probably today. I like the things we have now AC, running water. <laughs> I'd be a kid today, probably, because that way I could get a proper education. Um, I'd probably be a kid today because, again, you get the proper education, um, you get running water, good food, um, a shelter to live on, a shelter to have, um, and air conditioning, air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, that is one of the main things. Yeah, I mean, I think it would be nice to be sort of both, which is why I like the job, I mean, there are a lot of cool things that they would do back then that we don't really think about today, but um, I mean, it's a lot easier today, a lot of things. That would probably be a hard decision though, because all the things they did, it, the costumes are fun, and all the games are very educational, which is a good thing, 
But then I'd probably miss modern conveniences that we have today. But everything here is fun.